Hello world, Geriatric Geek here. How in the heck are you? I hope you're doing great. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today is the 8th, the 8th of September 2024. It's a beautiful morning here in North Las Vegas. It's 89 degrees, uh, sunny. We've been cooler than a lot of the southern southwestern area of the United States recently. It's amazing uh, how hot it has been in some of the places here in the south e southwest. Excuse me. Anyway, hey, thanks for stopping by. You know why you're here. You've seen the description. That's right. I have some pickups from the last couple weeks to share with you guys. Um, yeah, some 4Ks, some steel books. Gonna have some good stuff here. So, hang this. Get yourself a cup of coffee, sit, sit down, relax. 20 minutes later, we'll be done. <laughs> this first thing is um, 4K. I don't know how they did a 4K of this, but they did. Peril and Distress. Two movies. This is from uh, Kino Lorber uh, Studio Classics line. Uh, we have And Soon the Darkness and Sudden Terror. And Soon the Darkness is from 1970. It's 94 minutes long. It's a British horror mystery, uh, if you will. Uh, this special edition includes two terrifying thrillers and Soon the Darkness, where two young British nurses uh, bicycle through the desolate French countryside, a mysterious stranger on a lonely stretch of road. The woman becomes separated and soon after one of them disappears. Now the remaining girl, alone and frightened, begins an increasingly desperate search for answers among the strangely uncooperative locals. Where is her friend? Was there a murder? And as the darkness approaches, is the killer now stalking her? Uh, yeah. And soon the darkness remains a favorite of thriller fans for, a, for its sexual menace sinister style and one of the most quietly chilling final twists in 1970s British cinema. And now Sudden Terror is also from 1970. It's a PG rated 92 minutes. And of course another British uh, thriller. A young boy with an overactive imagination witnesses an, assassin an assassination attempt the hired killers are now hunting the young boy and his sister, played by Susan George, by the way, who escapes numerous attempts on their lives while aided by their grandmother and under the specter of martial law. All right. So, Sudden Terror, a.k.a. Eyewitness, apparently in Britain it was called Eyewitness, with plenty of tense style, stunning locations, and startling violence, Jeremy Kemp and Peter Vaughn co-star in this shocking and terrifying suspense thriller featuring music by legendary British art rock bands Fairfield Parlor and Van de Graaff Generator. I remember them. <laughs> Van de Graaff Generator. So, yeah, two 4Ks on 1970s movies. This is also in association with Studio Canal, by the way. So, yeah. Can't wait to check out these. I've never seen them, but I recall. Uh, I understand they were on like late night TV and stuff, but I don't remember. <laughs> don't remember that far back. 54 years ago? Yeah. Next up, a little steelbook activity. That's right. I had this movie on 4K already. I didn't have it in steelbook, so I thought, what the heck? I'll pick it up. Creep Show. That's right. George Romero. George Romero, um, written by Stephen King. Uh, it's filmed in Pittsburgh, around the Pittsburgh area. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let me. Oh, let me get this. Uh, 4K R rated 120 minutes from 1982. 1982. Masters of Macabre. Writer Stephen King and director George A. Romero. Conjure up five shocking yarns. That's right. This is an a, um, anthology. Forgot to say that. 
each a virtuoso exercise in the ghouls and gags style of classic 50s horror comics. A murdered man emerges from a grave for Father's Day cake, a meteor's ooze makes everything grow, a professor selects his wife as a snack for a crated creature, a scheming husband plants two lovers up to their necks in terror, interesting, a male violent millionaire with an insect phobia becomes the prey of a cockroach army. Add the spirited performances of an excellent cast. Hal Holbrook, Adrian Barbeau, Leslie Nielsen, Ted Danson, E.G. Marshall, Marshall, and King himself. And the ghoulish makeup wizardry of Tom Savini. And you have a non-stop thrilling ride that plays like an anthology of human phobias, says Robert Ebert. Alright, this is a, I, I laughed more than I was scared at any of this, I have to admit. I, I enjoy it for its comedy, for its humor, I guess. <laughs> Let me know down below, you guys like uh, Creepshow? Let me show you the entire, um... so there's the front. Absolutely nothing but a spider web on the back. It's kind of lazy. Ah, okay, we do have some inside artwork. Let's take a look. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Alright, and the discs have some artwork also. These, I don't know if these are or not, but uh, there are a bunch of special features. Uh, 4K, 4K scan, of course, this is oh, this is put out by Screen Factory, and it is, like I said before, 4K, and has a Blu-ray. Lots of audio in it, uh, interviews, lots of commentaries, good stuff. Glad to have it in Steelbook version. Next up, another 4K, and quite a few... 4Ks to my collection back there. Uh, this one is based on a true story. That's right, the Amityville Horror 4K Collector's Edition. This was released on September the 3rd. Uh, it's 89 minutes R rated from 2005. Of course, it's supernatural horror. <clears throat> this was also a Scream release, Scream Factory release. And of course, this is a, a bit of a redo, I guess, of the 1979 version. And it's the ninth in the Amityville um, horror series, if you will. Ninth. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. I, I enjoyed this one. I, I, I thought it was kind of scary. Ryan Reynolds from Deadpool, of course. Melissa George, alias. Philip Baker Hall from Magnolia and Chloe Grace Moretz from Suspiria enter a house with a history they cannot escape in this pulse-pounding 2005 version of the classic The Amityville Horror. In November 1974, a family of six was brutally murdered in this home. A year later, an unsuspecting young couple, George and Kathy Lutz, move their family in, only to find that a murderous presence still haunts the house. What follows is 28 days of unimaginable fear, with demonic visions of the dead and relentless screams of terror. This vi revis revisitation of the ultimate haunted house story offers a chilling take on the infamous based, infamous based on a true story events in Amityville. Amityville horror. Creepy. I. These movies. I like them for their creep factor, and I like haunted house kinds of things, so let me know down below. Have you seen it? And if you did, did you like it? Next up, another 4K for the, uh, for the collection. He watches, he listens, he waits. The Boy in 4K. This is PG-13, 97 minutes from 2016. This is also a Scream Factory release. Um, let's see. 
This, uh, oh yeah, this stars uh, Lauren Cohen. She played uh, Maggie in uh, The Walking Dead. I thought she she I don't know she carried this this movie obviously she was the main character <clears throat> having to deal with the boy. I thought this was creepy and in I can't wait to rewatch it. Greta, played by Lauren Cohen from The Walking Dead, is a young American woman who takes a job as a nanny in a remote English village. She soon discovers that the family's eight-year-old is a life-size doll that they care for just like a real boy as a way to cope with the death of their son 20 years prior. After she violates a list of strict rules, a series of disturbing and inexplicable events bring Greta's worst nightmare to life. Leading her, leading her to believe that the doll is actually alive. Lots of special features. Uh, this is presented in Dolby Vision with Dolby Atmos. Can't wait to check it out. On my Dolby Vision TV. <laughs> nice little slip. Let me know. Have you seen the boy? And if you have, what did you think? Now. Another very creepy one to me. Um, had one of my favorite favorite uh, menaces in this one. Poltergeist 2. This is 4K and Blu-ray version. Poltergeist 2, The Other Side. Um, PG-13, 91 minutes from 1986. Of course, this is a super supernatural horror, I should say. Uh, this was released on August the 27th. Julian Beck plays the uh, the the preacher in this. Oh man, I thought he did a great job. Uh, he of course died before this was even released. So uh, Julian Beck, I I love that guy. Um, this is based on characters of Steven Spielberg. But Spielberg and um, Toby Hooper had nothing to do with this version, this, this number two. In this thrilling follow-up to the smash hit, hit Polar, Poltergeist, the Freeling family, Jill Beth Williams, Craig T. Uh, Nelson, Heather O'Rourke, and Oliver Robbins, settles into a new home following the annihilation of their former residence by terrifying visitors from the netherworld, but the spirits of the dead are still hell-bent on luring the family to the other side. This chilling sequel, directed by Brian Gibson, also stars Will Sampson, uh, Julian Beck, as I said, and Zelda Rubenstein, returning as Tangina. Open your hearts and let Poltergeist 2, the other side, into your homes for a chilling good time. <laughs> Screen Factory. If you have not seen Poltergeist 2, or Poltergeist or Poltergeist 2, if you like ghost stories, or, uh, man, good stuff. Like I said, Julian Beck. Um, just iconic as the protagonist in this movie. <clears throat> now we're going to change, change um, scenes quickly. From the horror and the scary and the macabre to the wildly crazy and entertaining, the complete series of Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> yes, my kids, uh, not my youngest, but uh, my two oldest kids, three oldest kids actually, um, loved this show. And they watched it most every Saturday morning, I believe it was on CBS. And uh, they enjoyed the heck out of it. And of course, when I was in the area, I, I would always stop by and watch. I mean, it was written for kids, I guess, but adults soon found his humor also really good, I thought. Uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse. Let's see. It's 18.4 hours, something like that. 19, it's aired from 1986 to 1990. Like I said, five seasons on CBS. This has all 45 episodes and 
all 45 wacky episodes plus Pee Wee's Playhouse Christmas Special have, have been metac- metic- meticulously, wow, can't talk, sorry, meticulously remastered from the original film elements, and now you can see this groundbreaking series in beautiful high definition. Scream along with the secret word with Pee Wee Herman and his pals, Jam by the Genie, the genie Miss Yvonne, Cowboy Cur- I enjoyed Cowboy Curtis, Reba the Mail Lady, Captain Carl, Magic Screen, Conky, Globy, Cherry, Terry, Randy, and many more. I know you are, but what am I? Maka, <laughs> Maka Heine Ho. Okay. Exclusive bonus features include interviews with members of the cast and crew. This is also put out by Shout Factory. You can see there. But Blu-ray. Glad to have this in my collection. Can't wait to kind of revisit when the grandkids come around. Because, you know, they don't, they don't get to see this kind of stuff, unfortunately. Uh, good stuff. So let me know down below. Were you a Pee Wee Herman fan? <laughs> All right. Let's get back to the horror. <laughs> back to the horror. Written for the screen and directed by Ashana Knight Shalaman from producer M. Knight Shalaman. Ashana, of course, is M. Knight's daughter. Watchers. 4K and digital code. The Watchers. Uh, PG-13, 102 minutes from 2024. A horror fantasy. Um... This is getting mixed reviews, I guess, but uh, you know, I can't wait to check it out and uh, give it a chance. Play uh, has Dakota Fanning as a cap is is captivating as ever. In an untouched forest in Western Ireland, 28-year-old artist Mina finds herself trapped in a bunker alongside these three strangers, who were watched and held prisoner by mysterious creatures. I haven't seen this yet. Can't wait to check it out. We shall see how M. Knight's daughter does. Nice, nice slipcover. <laughs> Looks pretty creepy. And now the last thing that I picked up is this last week. 4K, Blu-ray, digital. One of my favorite sports movies, if you will. Um, it's really based on uh, a real league that actually <laughs> existed. That's right. A league of their own. Gina Davis, Tom Hanks, and Madonna. A league of their own. PG, 128 minutes from 1992. Um, uh, all-American Girls Professional Baseball League. Of course, during World War II, the guys were all fighting, and so they didn't have any male baseball players to continue, so they started the Women's League, and that's what this is all about. Love this movie. Love it. Can't wait to check it out on 4K and revisit. It's been quite a while since I've seen it. It's a home run with this hilarious and beloved comedy starring Tom Hanks. He does a great job, I thought. Gina Davis and Madonna. With baseball lineups and locker rooms left empty during World War II, the newly founded All-American Girls Bas- Baseball League brought talented women to the big leagues and brought fans to the stands. The indomitable uh, Dottie Henson, played by Davis, finds herself leading a ragtag group of players who end up winning over the heart of their has-been coach, Jimmy Dugan, played by Hanks. Lori Petty, Rosie McDonald, and John Lovitz round out the all-star cast based on the true story of a pioneering woman who blazed the trail for generations of athletes. Of course, this was directed by the by Penny Marshall. Can't wait. There you go. Nice little slip. There's the back. If you have not seen this movie and you're a comedy fan, you got to watch it. it. Wonderful. Wonderful stuff. 
So there you go, guys. That's everything that I've picked up in the last two weeks, I guess. Um, let me know down below if you've seen any of them, if you liked them, if you didn't like them, what you pick up recently that I didn't, maybe. Um, so no giveaway today. As I, I did the giveaway Wednesday, so that's still going on. If you haven't seen that video, go back one and get in on that giveaway. Um, the, I'm going to do the drawing on that next Saturday or Sunday. So good luck to everybody, and thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy my videos, give me a thumbs up. That's right, a like. Hit the notification bell so that you know when I put up another video, and hit the subscribe button. It helps tremendously. and It costs nothing. I would appreciate it. So that's it from North Las Vegas. You guys stay cool. Keep smiling. Keep having fun. And keep that positive attitude about you. Until the next time. Peace.